Okay, I'm back. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to spray fluid film as a rust preventative measure under the bottom of a vehicle. Okay, and what I got done here is you can see I'm on a Coleman stove and I've got the can sitting in some water and I've got the hose sitting in some water. Now, I used this a week or so ago under my truck and I didn't heat it up this way and I found it, uh, you know, it didn't spray as well as it would have had it been warmer. So, uh, yeah, and the good thing about this can of fluid film is the, the label is uh, plastic. So, you know, you put it in water like that, you don't ruin the label, you can always read it. Okay, something about fluid film. It's, it's wool wax formula. Okay, meaning it's, it's lanolin, which is com basically comes off of uh, sheep's wool. Okay, and uh, you know, sheep don't rust. So it works the same on vehicles. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people use this. I, I, I've, I've heard of fluid film for years. I always thought it was something like a petroleum base, like a, like a WD-40 or something like that. But uh, only uh, recently did I look into it a bit more and realize that it is, in fact, it's uh, derived from uh, wool, wool wax, uh, the lanolin in it, and really good for rust protection on vehicles. Uh, a couple of guys on YouTube have videos on this stuff, uh, a little more detailed than what I'm going to show you, but... So basically, you look in here in the can, you can see it's kind of like a sort of a butterscotch pudding consistency. And I'm going to see it as it's warming, it's starting to turn more liquidy around the sides. That's what I'm aiming for. So I'm just going to let that warm. I just poked the hole in the lid, see like that? And that's the pickup for it. So I thought that would work. And it did, except it wasn't quite warm enough. So we're going to warm that up. Let me see here. Yeah, I just got a, an old pot, a sacrificial pot. I'll never put this back into use uh, in the kitchen, but um, it'll work good for this. Okay, and the other thing I've got is, keep a little paper towel handy. I'm just gonna wear this, uh, this 3M mask when I'm doing it because, you know, it's not toxic, but you don't want the mist you know, in your eyes and you don't want to breathe it in. So if you got some type of a respirator and some goggles, good idea to use them. And uh, you're going to need an air compressor if you're going to do this. Uh, this is the one I've got. You know, this is a 20-gallon tank. You don't need something as big as this. One of those little pancake ones will do it too. We'll just give that a few minutes more. And we'll give this a try. Okay. You can see where that's starting to come to a rolling boil. So, so I'm just going to turn that down a bit. I don't need it that high. Yeah. Okay, that should be plenty warm in there now. Let's try and spray some of that on there and see what we got. Okay, so that's that uh, near boiling water in there. Uh-oh, where's the end of the hose? Come here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's really, really freed it up. Oh, it's not there, it's here. Okay, that's it. Wow. That got really warm. That's going to go on a lot better. So, what have I got? About five feet of uh, 3 8 clear hose. All right. Okay. Connect to the air hose. Wow, it's, that uh, hose is completely limp. It's going to work well, I think. Okay. All right, here I am. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, it really goes on well. That's 50 times better than it was without heating it. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. Look at that go. That's the way to put it on, man. Have it hot. Wow. Running about 80 PSI on the air. Could probably turn that down a bit. Look at that. Man, is that ever going on well. Wow. Yeah. Man. I 
that's looking good. Huh. And you will get a little overspray on the exhaust and stuff, uh, you know, unless you want to go ahead and plastic over everything. It, uh, you know, you'll smell it for a day, but it burns off. It won't catch fire. It just, you know, you'll smell it for a little bit, but that's okay. Maybe that's one reason that it doesn't rust, you know, is maybe rust is afraid of this smell. <laughs> it smells like, uh, it smells a little like barnyard. Just, you know, a pleasant barnyard smell. But uh, not bad, it's not unpleasant. You can tell it's organic though, you can tell it comes from animals. Yeah. Wow, that ever going on well. Okay, I've moved around to the back of the vehicle here, and you can see that fluid film, how it's clinging to everything in here. That goes on really easy when it's warmed up. Look at that. I got a little bit on the muffler. I got a little bit on the tailpipe. I don't worry about that. It's going to... It'll just, um, it'll evaporate off in a day or so. No problem. Try and get up in the holes in the frame too and all that kind of stuff. That works well. Puh. Smells a little like a burn. But that's not bad. You can definitely tell it smells like sheep is what it smells like. Just about got it. I'm gonna go up about midway up the vehicle and look back and see if I missed any spots. So you see the setup here. I just got the can sitting in that warm water. I've, I've uh, Cinch the lid down tighter. And I got that piece of hose stuck in a hole. Let it down to the bottom of the can in that liquid. And uh, my little air gun here. That's it. That's slick. Now, get under here. Put a bit of light on. Let's see what we got. A little over there. good. Let's see in the front of this. Some up in there. Ah. Oh, yeah, I guess we've got it. I have almost every hole. It's amazing. I did uh, I did a full size pickup with that can, and I did this car. So that's amazing for a gallon. How far that'll go? It's just about empty. I can hear it starting to suck the bottom of the can. But wow, ah, that's a pretty easy setup. It's a little slippery. You know, you're gonna get you're gonna get it on you, but uh, it washes off. It's not like uh, petroleum. You know, like that'll stay on it forever. This this will wash out. You know, so. Get it in your clothes and stuff. All 
Okay, uh, got the doors open. I got some factory plugs removed. There's one little one here, one back there, a bigger one up there. So I'm gonna spray down inside these posts. You can see it misting up through here. Go into this hole up in here. Door post. You see it misting out through here. I'll put those plugs back in before I'm finished. There's another hole back here. Ah, getting near the bottom of the can, but man, is that ever good stuff where a gallon can go. Okay, I'll do the other side. Yeah, I think we got it. Okay, plug there. I got one up here in the door post. Pop that out. Get that picked up. And I got another one back in here. That's a factory plug, so just as handy. Don't have to drill any. Okay. That, it's just about empty the can, but we're gonna get some in here. You see it blowing out through. So it's misting the whole inside of that post. See the volume as it comes out of there. It misting out through here. You can tell it's getting full coverage in there. Down inside the doors a bit. Okay. Be better to have a long wand to do this stuff, you know, like a wand that you could stick down in, but I think it's pretty good. Still getting coverage in there. I'm gonna turn the turn this around in the can a bit so we can suck some more up. You can see it moving up through the hose there. It's going in there. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I got most of it. Let's see here. I can go. Oh, there's a little on the cover. But most of it, I'll just put it down in the corner like that. And pick some more up. Ah. More in those corner posts. Oh, you get the general idea. Like I say, you do that twice a year on any vehicle, you're gonna save it. You're gonna prolong the life of it. Bunch of that in there. Put some of that in that rear one. I don't think I got as much in that rear one. Uh -huh, sticking it up. Open that hole there. I guess I should go back and 
I'll check the tailgate and see if I can get a bunch, a bunch squirted into the tailgate and uh, yeah, bottoms of the doors and that's it. Thanks for watching. Share, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>